a story from Mayor Shapiro. He was very sick, and the congregants, people very close to him, so an elderly, elderly gentleman, I think, was older than him. He says, "I, I give, I don't know if it's five, I said ten years of my life for a mayor." And then a few of the other people around, they said, you know, "I give two years." Another person, one year, one year. This one, this one, this one. Came to a total. I can't remember if it was thirteen or sixteen. I think sixteen years is in my next book. The path to fun to finishing Talmud, which I hope you'll support. We need donations for it. I want to give it out to hundreds of people for free. So, turned out something like 16 years. He got 13, 16, I think 16 years to that day that they went, they offered years from their own life. To that day, that's when he died. Because they gave him those extra years, he accomplished so much for Dafyomi from the Talmud. The Chachmei Dublin, the old Yeshiva, the great Yeshiva, the great, great man who inspires, who gets an Aliyah all the time. He's getting an Aliyah. His soul is going up and up and up because we're paying more attention to the Talmud than the receptors. I think it was a Chabad Chaim that said the receptors are going to greet Rav Meir when he goes to Shemayim. There's receptors that were forgotten because people didn't learn them because they didn't finish all of Shas, a lot of people. And here now, these must have to learn more. Great inspiration. Helped inspire my, my book because the path to finishing Talmud, even in Mayor's time, it wasn't that he just made Daph Yomi. It was understood in those years, and even then they were struggling with it. It was understood in those years the importance of learning Tanakh and Mishnahis before you eventually finish the Talmud. You have to go and make yourself a, a, a fundamental foundation to your study. A child, he first crawls and then he walks. You don't first make him walk. But today, you just, everyone will just jump right into the Talmud and people spend 10, 20, 30 years in the yeshivas and they don't finish Talmud even once. But with that Yomi, they're able to find it eventually when they get that pro, when they finish, they're able to finish in seven years. But if a person were to learn in the order, the Talmud shouldn't take more than a year or two to study. Three years maximum if the person is knows how to learn. But people are skipping and they're skipping and skipping. Mishnayis, you take Mishnayis and throw it on the shelf. Who needs Mishnayis for babies? They can never finish Mishnayis. In my prayers, Shapiro's time period, both were coming to the home in the bin, they finished shots when they're 17 already. Why? Because they went and they did the proper learning in order. So the person has to go and fill in the fundamental properties that they need. And that's all going to be in my book. It's the only book of its kind. So help please to support us on the path to finishing Talmud, Shas, Mesilas, and Shas in Hebrew. And have success in this and success in the learning. Every day, I haven't, fin- I haven't, learned, I haven't done one day without learning many blocks of the Gemara in at least six years. To learn every day a page of Talmud, at least. At least. The Daf Yomi is for people who really don't have time, they're working. But now it's, it's just to get to really finish Shas at all. The Mishra Chum should be finishing it many times, the Shas.
Ra 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 